Now to tonight's other big story, a showdown between two groups of protesters in Gilbert, some choosing to convey their message with a sign, others with their guns. That's right. ABC 15 Zach Crenshaw is in Gilbert for us tonight. And Zach, these protests have been going on for more than two months now, but a very, very different response from police out there tonight. A whole different strategy. Gilbert PD's chief admitting to me they were caught off guard last week when protesters just crossed the street and all of a sudden multiple fights broke out. This week, a different story. They had barricades, Mesa's helicopter, extra Chandler officers, all making sure the passion didn't lead to punches. USA! A crosswalk was all that separated them. As if y'all didn't come over here and try to kill us. But a lot more than 30 steps divided the two sides. You can still cut the tension with a knife. The demonstrations on the corner of Gilbert and Warner, nothing new. A month ago, this was 60 people. Milo Shank's been standing here every Thursday for the past two months. I normally carry my AK-47, but I tore some cartilage in my rib last week. Both sides packing more heat than a small town police department. Our preference is to leave guns at home. We want to make sure it stays safe. Last week, it didn't. I got a little out of hand. It just escalated so quickly right. and caught us off guard. Only two people were arrested, including this guy. Mike Claybaugh for assault, but Gilbert PD isn't done investigating. We still have a couple of suspects that are outstanding that we're working on identifying. The other man arrested, leader Philip X. We came out here to protest white supremacy in Gilbert. We understand the fact that we can't get through to them via verbal communication. But try they did. Both sides shouting across the street for hours. Some overtly racist. Hey, white power. <laughs> caught on Liz Harris's Facebook Live last week. If there is someone here screaming white power, they need to go. For many, it was about supporting police and President Trump. For others, it was about dismantling both. But neither side crossing the street or ideological gap anytime soon. We would love to have a meaningful dialogue, but this is not the place to do it. And there's still going to be people coming home not learning a thing. Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.